Well, here are the after effects of me putting on my makeup. And my son's finished with this lesson. And I didn't bring that eyeshadow. But I will tell you which one it is. It is number six. And I got it at It's kind of funny I said it as my son was doing his homework, but his work, but that's my life. Uh, I got it once again at the body shop, and it was number six. Um, eye shimmers, and they turn different colors. I got the green one, and I got the colors that you can't hardly tell the colors of these things. And the silver one. So I'm going to do the silver look one day. You guys and see how you like it. But once again I'm yelling out. Help with the eyeliner, eyelashes. Um, I'm getting better at it. I don't know if that's just what you need. Just practice all the time. Um, but I did want to tell you about my finds. On cheap makeup brushes. And I think they're pretty good. Because I did the top of my eyes with the. This kind. And they are by. I, uh, well, you guys can't tell, but it's called Studio Tex, and I got them at Target, Target, my favorite store, and that one was the eyeliner brush, and it was less than two dollars, just a dollar and eighty nine, and um, someone wrote me an email and uh, told me as long as the bristles didn't fall out when you rubbed your hand on them, you were pretty good and wash them the right way. And also, I learned, I don't know if I told you guys, I learned from the Mac store, the Mac uh, and Macy's, um, to lay your brushes down instead of up. I've always laid my up after, well, pointing them up after I washed them. And um, this is a shadow brush. And they're really soft. And um, I think they're going to be good. And this one was less than two dollars also and oh my goodness and another eyeshadow brush but I wanted to show you guys the little kabuki brush I found there three dollars and forty nine cents goodbye try it out if you want a nice little kabuki brush the handle is just a little bit smaller than my Mac one and it was a goodbye and um, I think that's it. So I want to put this on for you guys to see. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Also, you guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about our radio shows coming back on. We took a week off last week to take a little break. We're going to be back talking about careers that we can do from home. So we can be there for our loved ones. Even if we're having... Um, uh, help in the home um, it's really good to have careers that you can be at home with these kids that have autism or need to be at home with them so we're going to be giving hints and tips and uh, some places and people to talk to and careers you can go into that you can make money on the side or add to your current career with because um, it is expensive you know as the economy goes up a lot of time house homes people want to take on a second job just to pay for uh, gas I know yesterday I gassed up my car and it cost seventy five dollars and um, those type of things in our lives are very expensive and plus uh, educating our children the extras we try to get for them uh, the extra speech the extra things we try to do so they can be better do better in life um, all these things so we're going to be doing a little tips on that in our careers and how to um, save a little money. So take us, check us out on Block Talk Radio, Mrs. Jackie One, and the episode is going to be on Friday and um, at one o'clock. However, if you can't make it at that time and listen to us, listen to us on your archives. So thanks, you guys.